Many thanks for staying with us. Let's bring you more stories now. Over 25,000 delegates were treated to a comforting message of hope at the Jehovah's Witnesses Convention which held at the Moshud Abiola Stadium in Abuja at the weekend. The program which featured talks, video dramas and the welcoming of over 500 new ones was described by attendees as uplifting and refreshing tonic to the maze of depressing news that many are bombarded with each day. The Mashud Biola Stadium in Abuja is known for hosting high-profile sporting events. But for the last three days from Friday to Sunday, it was a venue for a thrilling Declare the Good News Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. We hear bad news every day. And as you know, bad news affects people in different ways. And sometimes it can lead to hopelessness. And as you know, nothing kills faster than hopelessness. So the theme is very well appropriate so as to give people solid reasons to have hope. And that's because Jesus Christ came in and died for us. He declared that good news. We're also living by that good news. So when people come in here, they learn how to preach the good news, how to live by the good news. The three days program featured uplifting talks centered on the Messianic prophecies about Jesus Christ, the truth about his birth and the faith of those who witness it, as well as its significance for the billions living today. First, Matthew spoke from God as he was moved by God's Holy Spirit, just as we had read concerning what Peter wrote. We also see how Jehovah's Spirit move Luke to write the gospel accounts. So Jehovah trusted. He knew Luke would write something that would be accurate. He was well respected. John showed Jesus as a loving shepherd, as a loving ransomer. Jesus love moved him to have personal conversations with people. There was also the presentation of an inspiring two-part video drama titled The Good News According to Jesus. Jehovah is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You will become pregnant. A high point of the convention was a baptism of 580 new ones. I'm very happy because I'm able to I'm be able to be welcomed as one of Jehovah's servants today. It means that I become one of Jehovah's family here on earth. Another unique thing about all of this is the work that went into its planning and preparation and the high level of organization as seen in crowd and traffic management. From November 2023, we keep making arrangements, organizing committees, departments to ensure that the environment is thoroughly cleaned, made fit for this wonderful occasion. And for the over 25,000 who attended the closing day, this was how some of them summed up the experience. I love it. I love it. I'm with my brothers and sisters. The energy, the excitement. I can feel Jehovah's Holy Spirit blessing the occasion. And everybody is peaceful, calm, happy. Has helped me deepen my appreciation for the sacrifice that Jesus made for all of us to um, be able to have everlasting life. How much um, responsibility that that puts on all of us as Jesus' disciples to go out and share that information so that everyone else has the opportunity for everlasting life as well. It talks about the reasons we have to continue bearing um, the good news. First, love for Jehovah, love for Jesus, love for our neighbors, and love for life. These reasons are exciting and I want to continue keeping them bringing my mind so as to continue declaring the good news. Uh, you know, about Jesus Christ, the uh, gospel accounts of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were explicitly, you know, explained, and um, we benefited ourselves. It's, it's, it's a convention, one of its kind in recent times, actually. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that even with the world drifting into uncertainty and leaving many depressed and anxious, the good news which they take to people's homes can be a source of relief and hope. The next in the large gathering series of the Declare the Good News Convention will hold in stadiums in Uyo and Port Harcourt in December 2024. Utebogo, AIT News, Abuja.
We'll take a break now on the news. Uh, when we return, we'll bring you a sports report. Please.